You're awake. Oh, thank the stars. There you are, on your feet. I know magical translocation can really upset the stomach. Just take a moment and get your bearings, all right? The Isle of Balfiera, home of Clan Berini. I apologize for the cramped accommodations. We pride ourselves on courtesy, but circumstances here have taken a turn for the bizarre. I needed to make sure you weren't a danger to yourself or others. You might not be so eager to escape once you hear what's going on. You arrive via a portal, along with a deatric beast called Shiazel. It seized control of our golems and unleashed them on the island. If I free you, will you help me stop Shiazel? Wise choice. Just give me a moment. There. That should unlock the door. When you're ready, follow me. There you are, free as a spring cricket. I hope you intend to keep your word. We'll need each other out there. Of that I'm certain. The name's Norianwe, by the way, of Clan Dorini. Pleased to make your acquaintance. We're bound for a place called the Keyrite's Gallery. But first, I need to know you can defend yourself. Hurtling through the Orbis and falling flat on your ear left you a bit scattered. Find a weapon, and we'll work out the cobwebs. Fair. Of course. 
I can't promise total transparency, but I'll be as forthcoming as I can. The Keyrites Gallery is an ancient substructure of Balfiera Island, built long before my clan arrived. On account of all the doors, the gallery is full of ancient gates, each with some arcane connection to places in Tamriel and beyond. Once the gates came to life, rifts opened. You fell out of one of them. The Daedra, Shiazel, emerged from another. I cast an incantation of the steed, snatched you up, and fled as fast as my feet would carry me. I heard the Daedra cursing, followed by some kind of explosion, but I didn't look back. I hope the gallery is still standing. Nothing irresponsible, if that's what you're asking. I'm a member of Clan Durini's Intelligence Guild, the Cinderella. More scholar than spy, I assure you. I was conducting some research in the gallery, then pop! You and that monster arrived. The gallery's always been a place of special interest for the guild, but we never quite cracked how it worked. Despite the dangers, this is our greatest breakthrough to date. The guild master will be ecstatic, provided we get it under control. Would it frustrate you to hear that I have no idea? We Dureni are cautious by nature, so the Isle of Bolfiera has many defenses. Magical stone guardians protect many of our sacred sites, but somehow this Daedra found a way to turn them against us. Ugh, do I have to? If I recall my studies correctly, I'd say it's a harvester, a huge serpentine creature that feeds on souls and magicka. If it finds a way to consume the energies of the gallery, we will be in very serious trouble. The Keyrites Gallery is an ancient substructure of Balfiera Island, built long before my clan arrived. On account of all the doors, the gallery is full of ancient gates, each with some arcane connection to places in Tamriel and beyond. Once the gates came to life, rifts opened. You fell out of one of them. The Daedra, Shiazel, emerged from another. Larger weapons like staves and great axes would take both hands to use. You can pair smaller weapons with a shield, or another weapon of that size. The choice is yours. that one suits you. If you change your mind, feel free to take any other weapon you want. Now, let's find a spot to practice. This is as good a place as any. Now, prepare yourself while I conjure up a dance partner. Let's begin. now. Strike the construct. Well done! A 
Attack! Impressive. Brilliant! Ready yourself. Quick, strike while it's off balance. That's the way. Well done. Block it, strike. Give it everything you've got. Raw strength, that. Want? Keep up the defense. Strike hard, now. Now some foes will try to restrain you. Quickly, break free. Be ready to break free. Again, make ready. Now press your advantage with a heavy attack. Again, hold its attack. Swiftly now, interrupt it. When your enemy prepares an attack, good, now destroy it. Well done. Come speak with me for a moment. With moves like that, the Daedra doesn't stand a chance. Yes, I'd say we're ready to set out. To reach the Keyride's gallery, we have to make it out of this ruin and across a wide field full of the golems I mentioned. With any luck, we'll be able to slip past them. But I'm not all that lucky, so I'm sorry in advance. Well, it begins with the door. The first of many. The only way to access the gallery is through a mysterious gateway. Once we pass through that initial door, we'll step into a huge vault. This is the part that worries me most. I believe Shiazel, the Daedric creature that's causing all this mischief, may have nested itself in there. So be prepared to fight.
I can't say anything with certainty, but ridding the world of an otherworldly abomination can't hurt, right? Its influence might linger for a time, but the Golems should return to normal before too long. Hopefully. Let's be on our way. A word of warning, though. Some of the golems may wander the halls ahead. There shouldn't be many of them, but as my master used to say, prudence is victory's profit. Sorry, he was very keen on weird proverbs. Well, it begins with the door, the first of many. The only way to access the gallery is through a mysterious gateway. Once we pass through that initial door, We'll step into a huge vault. This is the part that worries me most. I believe Shiazel, the Daedric creature that's causing all this mischief, may have nested itself in there. So be prepared to fight. I can't say anything with certainty, but ridding the world of an otherworldly abomination can't hurt, right? Its influence might linger for a time, but the Golems should return to normal before too long. Hopefully.
entrance to the Kirides Gallery should be east of here. Let's set out.
The Kyrites gallery is in here. Let's head inside. Well, this is upsetting. Jeffers Bones. The surge of magicka created by the portals you came through. Uh, must have cracked this sky shard. Without a functioning sky shard, this gate remains locked, and there's no way for us to proceed. Damn! Unless you have a set of enchanting tools and a working knowledge of meteoric empowerment theory, no, there's nothing for it. We need to find a replacement. I saw one in a vault just south of here a few days ago, but it was flanked by one of the island's more powerful golems. Normally, I'd say we should search for another option, but given the circumstances, I think we have to risk it. Of course. Let's not tarry too long, though. Giant clusters of meteoric glass. They fall from Aetherius, charged with raw and very potent magicka. Mages use sky shards in all kinds of rituals and experiments. We Dureni use them as a power source.
All right. Do you see that vault to the south? The sky shot is there. It is the sky shard. Just absorb the energy of that shard. Oh, incredible. Not quite what I intended, but we can work with this. Let's head back to the gate.
moment of truth. Focus on the Sky Shard aperture. With any luck, it'll respond to the power you absorbed and unlock the gate. Ha! You did it! Let's speak for a moment. I'm afraid we've reached the really scary bit. The Daedric creature responsible for all these portals waits just beyond that gate. If you have any other preparations to make, make them now. Again, I'm just a scholar, but I'd encourage you to remember what we practiced before. Keep moving, strike true, and exploit any opening the creature gives you. There it is! Send it back to Oblivion! Hopefully, the gallery wasn't too badly damaged. Follow me! Central column. I had no idea it was concealing something like this. Let's get a closer look.
This is the Key Rights Gallery, but not so remember it. Now I see why we never managed to unlock the gates. Their power comes from this arcane helix. Amazing. With the helix exposed, these gates can finally reopen. Perhaps not all of them at first, but enough to reach most of Tamriel. The question for you, I suppose, is where to first? Can you believe this? Just look around. With this arcane helix exposed, the chamber is positively crackling with magic. The Keyrite's gallery has come to life, and I finally think I know why. Because of you, matters in Tamriel are bleak. War rages in Cyrodiil. Daedric princes conspire. Dragons ride the winds of elsewhere. The Second Era needs a savior. I believe the gallery. Perhaps even the Adamantine Tower itself chose you. The Keyrite's gallery opened doors to every corner of Tamriel, places I suspect that desperately need a hero's aid. This choice is yours to make, but wherever you choose to go, I'm sure adventure awaits. May the stars protect you. So, have you chosen where to go? What region of the world strikes your fancy? Not everyone gets to pass instantly from one side of Tamriel to another, you know. This is quite a gift. What, me? No, I've got work to do. The Cinderil will want every bit of this place searched and studied. Since I did the discovering, I'll probably end up leading the effort. Adventure abroad sounds all well and good, but my place is here. Well, fate's sort of a clumsy way to put it. No offense. Honestly, we may never know why you were chosen, but I believe there was intention here. Something, whether it be the stars, the gallery, or the tower itself, placed you here for a reason. Perhaps it followed you to prevent you from reaching your... well, destiny sounds a bit too grandiose. Let's just say, to stop you from reaching your potential. Then again, maybe the power of this place brought you here to stop Shiazel. Probably not, but what's a life without unanswered questions, right? Boring, if you ask me. Ha! Huh, an elf can hope. Answering that question will probably keep me occupied for the next hundred years. Is the helix connected to the Adamantine Tower? How does it perceive distant corners of Tamriel? I may never understand it, but I'll do my best. It is a bit overwhelming, isn't it? The whole of Tamriel is stretched out before you. We could start with the political considerations. Three great alliances vie for control of Cyrodiil. Does the fate of the Pact, Covenant, or Dominion interest you? Excellent. You can visit Stros Mackay in Daggerfall Covenant territory, an island called Kanathi's Roos that the Aldmeri Dominion set its eyes on, or the Ebonheart Pax Domain. I don't blame you. Interprovincial intrigue is the basis of my whole profession, and even I find it tiresome after a while. I suppose that widens the map a bit. Well, as I said before, threats to Tamriel have grown like weeds practically everywhere. Would you prefer to spend time among my elven kin, the Khajiit of elsewhere, or men of the north and south? According to our spies, the land of the Catfolk is in sorry shape. Imperial holdouts sit upon the throne and a rage of dragons spilled out of the halls of Colossus, burning everything in their path. If it's adventure you seek, You'll find it there. If 
you take the gate to Vardenfell, you can meet the Dark Elves, and maybe even the God King, Vivek. You could also travel south to Somerset Isle, our ancestral home and the primary seat of power for the High Elves. Always. Though the natives don't make it easy. High Elves of Somerset don't share the Dorenis' pragmatism. They're often too proud to ask for help. But our agents reported some strange activity around the Crystal Tower. It's probably worth a look. Excellent! You can visit Stros Mackay in Daggerfall Covenant territory, an island called Canarthi's Ruse that the Aldmeri Dominion set its eyes on, or the Ebonheart Pax Domain. I don't blame you. Inter well, as I said before, threats to Tamriel have grown like weeds pra Certainly. One of these gates up here to go to Western Skyrim, a hermitical kingdom of Nords led by King Svargrim. The other leads to Blackwood, at the southern tip of Cyrodiil. Imperial remnants rule there. The Nords of Western Skyrim are inhospitable, to put it lightly. Even so, we've been able to glean a few things. I've read reports about increased vampiric activity in the region. Never a good sign. They need stout adventurers to deal with it. Excellent! You can visit Stros Mackay and Dagger. So, have you chosen where to go? What region of the world strikes your fancy? Not everyone gets to pass instantly from one side of Tamriel to another, you know. This is quite a gift. What, me? No, I've got work to do. Well, fate's sort of a clumsy way to put it. No, perhaps. Probably not. But what? Ha! Huh, an elf can hope. It is a bit overwhelming, isn't it? The whole of Tamriel is stretched out. Excellent! You can visit Stros Mackay in Daggerfall Covenant territory. An island called Canarthi's Ruse that the Aldmeri Dominion set its eyes on, or the Ebonheart Pax Domain.
boost, a Khajiiti Isle with emerging ties to the Ardmary Dominion. Sea elves have been flexing their muscles in that part of the Total Bay. Competing interests could lead to bloodshed. Someone like you could set things right. Shalar will attend you in a moment. You're in a sorry state, friend. Head up the beach and rest. This is Kanathi's Roost, off the coast of Southern Elsewhere. We were supposed to make a more tactical landing, but that hurricane took us all by surprise. At least we made it here alive. Not all of us were so lucky. The sun and salt are bad for injuries. If you are wounded, get to the encampment in the shadow of those towers. Indalor will have you up in no time. A skilled healer, and sharper than Shalar's claws. It's good he survived the shipwreck. This place, Eagle Strand, it is a beautiful place, thank the gods. Otherwise, Indalore would be completely overtaxed. Canarthi's roost. The Shalar heard it was a beautiful island. This one thinks it would look better without all the wrecked ships. Not even the Dominion's greatest fleet can sail through hurricanes. We are fortunate to be alive. A cook on the flagship. I used a cleaver to take guts out of animals. But Indalor needs help. And now I use needle and thread to put guts back into soldiers. Hard work. But I thank the two moons for everyone I save. A skilled hit. We know the name because a few island locals live in the towers up the beach. With their help, Commander Kerent set up camp for the castaways. The locals bring food, drink, and medical supplies. 